Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's Sean Elvis. You know, you are what you eat. You've heard that saying before, right? You are what you eat. If you eat healthy, you get the nutrition you need, right? And you exclude the junk food and get some exercise. You know, your body's going to run a lot better. You're going to think clearer. You're going to be stronger, faster. And, you know, I think it'll strengthen your spirit, too, and gives your spirit the courage to resist the devil, you know? When we go to the grocery store, we have options on what to buy. You know, you have organic food, and you have non-organic food. You have the GMO, synthetic, pre-packaged food, and you have the GMO certified USDA organic food and things like that, right? You have things like grass-fed beef, free-range eggs, and all kinds of various ways that you can eat healthy. And a healthy person will eliminate carbohydrates, sugars from their diet, things like that, and monitor what they consume in their body. You know, in all kinds of various ways that you could uh, change your diet and be more healthy and things like that. Well, it just got me thinking about how, you know, modern women can be kind of compared to (laughs) organic and non-organic. And not just women, but families as a whole in general, you know. What I mean is, you know, growing up in a family where the mom stays at home and, you know, she homeschools her kids and the father goes out, works and brings home the bacon. You know, his family shows him respect. The mother loves the children. She nurtures and cares for the children. She has a meek and quiet spirit, things like that. And, you know, the man remains a strong masculine figure in the home. You know, these kind of organic families are becoming extinct nowadays. And we can see society suffering because of it. You know, we can see the immorality of the women We can see the corruption in the government, um, domestic violence, things like that. Now, we don't have organic families anymore. We're not producing healthy, organic children anymore, you know, with a mom and a dad at home. You know, our minds have been corrupted with social media and mainstream media. You know, women don't even know how to identify what a good man is anymore. You know, they think that a man has to be rich, he has to be good looking, he has to be famous or you're popular. Instead of having a man with values, you know, somebody who's dependable, who's trustworthy, who's honest and a man of integrity. These are virtues that make up a good man. You know, it seems like the farther we slip away, the harder it is to get back to that. You know, we're, we're getting to the point in our society that, you know, it, it's harder to get back to that. And it's almost like we're going to have to go over and start from scratch just to get there because we're being forced to grow up in this culture that's not organic anymore. It's not traditional. You know, I look back at my grandma and, you know, she was married at the age of 16. She got married to her husband, stayed with him. And she raised five healthy children, three girls and two boys, one of them being my dad, you know. And I look back at, or I look right now on all my uncles and my aunties, and I can see that feminism has destroyed families because all these women are going into the workforce and they're destroying the organic family. And when they start using birth control and, and things like that, killing their own babies with abortion and the men are using contraception and we're not having kids anymore and you know we're not producing organic families anymore it's it's almost like we're just littering our lives with pesticides and and um, destroying our crops just letting the wolves just come in and eat our eat our sheep and and it you know it's it's just so sad i mean 
you can go eat McDonald's every day, right? And it's easy. You can go get your Happy Meal and it's super easy. And you, and you can do that for a while, you know, but eventually what's going to happen to you? You're going to clog your arteries. You're going to um, destroy your, your intestines and all that thing, you know, high cholesterol, high risk of diabetes, cancer, you know, that's what feminism is. You know, these women of today, these women in the workforce are competing with their husband to bring home the bacon instead of just being at home with the children and raising them and doing their part, you know, doing their share of the work that, you know, what it takes to raise an organic family. You know, these guys out here are using condoms and they're not being dads anymore. You know, it's just real sad, you know, and somebody like me who wants to have an organic family, who wants to produce good children, you know, it's tough. It's tough, you know, it's like, how can you? The society we're living in is just almost out there to get you. And, you know, the American culture is now like, as long as I get my happy meal, as long as I'm fed and I'm taken care of to hell with everybody else, right? That's like the new American way. Everybody's just living for themselves. It's almost as if we need to burn it all down and and enrich the soil and, and start from scratch, you know? I hope it doesn't come to that, but, I mean, what are we going to do? You know, organic families are dying off. They're becoming extinct. I mean, ultimately, what can you do? The only thing you can do is control what's in your power to control. You know, that's why I'm out here. I'm walking to church the organic way, walking, and um, just trying to keep myself pure and just trying to build myself up as a man of integrity, you know, because I'm surrounded by a culture that seeks to destroy me a culture that has just totally forsaken organic values and traditional values. It's tough out here in Denver, you know, being a man of God in Denver. Did you know that the city I live in, or the state I live in, Colorado, is the number one, um, like, least churched, least believing in God state in the whole United States? You know, he must have put me here for some reason. I don't know why God has me here, but I don't, you know, some days I don't know if I'm Lot in the Sodom and Gomorrah or if I'm, or if I'm Jonah in, in Nineveh. I don't know. Either way, I'm just out here surviving, trying to do his will as best I can, you know, just going my own way. Just out here going my own way, trying to live the organic way as best I can. Because I love life and. I want others to enjoy life too. I want you guys to enjoy life too. So I just wanted to encourage you guys today here real quick before I go to church. Um, Because, you know, everybody else, you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Just because they're modifying their lifestyle doesn't mean you have to, you know. Doesn't mean you can't be that diamond in the rough. You know, that last stand against the machines before they take over. So keep popping your red pills, guys. Keep popping your red pills and take a stand. And and you know what? If they take us out, they take us out. But at least we can go out with our heads high, knowing we went out swinging, knowing we did the best that we could. Because I don't want the future generations to look at me and say, ah, he was lazy. He just just, uh, went through the drive-thru and got his Happy Meal. No, I'm taking a stand. I'm taking a stand. I'm not just living for myself. Living for a higher purpose to uh, enrich my life and everybody else's life around me. Anyway, the fight press is on, and God bless you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.